So, good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the official Olympus Press event here in Cologne tonight. How is everybody feeling today? You guys feeling good? Let me hear you say, yeah. All right, all right. Some are feeling great. Some will feel great at the end of the evening. I'm pretty sure of that. And we have a lot of people also watching the live stream at home on their, I guess, on their laptops or computer screens. So also welcome to everybody watching uh, the live stream. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I heard we have guests here from all around the world. Uh, I think we have guests here from the USA. USA in the house, is that correct? We have, all right, Australia in the house today. We have uh, people from Malaysia. We have guests here from Kazakhstan, just to name a few, from Japan, of course. Um, and we also have uh, some guests here from Dusseldorf. Uh, now, they had the shortest distance to travel, but believe me, if you're from Dusseldorf, you're coming to Cologne, it feels like you're very far away from home, all right? Now, yeah, the people from Dusseldorf, they know what I mean. Anyway, my name is Chris Brown, ladies and gentlemen. That is Brown without the N, just so you know. And I have the honor to guide you through this event here tonight. Um, but I also have the honor to uh, be able to moderate and host the Olympus booth at the exhibition at the Photokina throughout the week. So whenever you feel uh, like visiting us, uh, you're always welcome. Hall number 2.2, just so you know. So uh, what did you come here for exactly tonight? Uh, what are you about to witness? What are you about to see? I know you were promised big news, and I was warned not to say a word just yet. Um, and I understand that this should be done by someone who knows this company better than most of us, uh, or better than all of us probably. He has been with Olympus for 36 years, and uh, that in numerous positions and responsibilities, and currently serves as executive officer, head of the imaging business unit of the Olympus Corporation. So let's all welcome him now here on stage with a big round of applause. Here's Mr. Michael Handa. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. Thank you. <clears throat> so, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Olympus' entire and global team, I'd like to thank you for your coming to our uh, big news press event. Olympus production this year has been in challenging situation because of the earthquake in Kumamoto. But entire team has been working so hard to overcome the situation. Still we are, we are on the way, but thanks to this effort, I'm proud tonight, I'm proud of making announcement of Olympus flagship new product. Come in. First of all, I'd like to introduce vision of Olympus Corporation. For human life, healthier, safer, and more enjoyable. Medical Systems Group, early diagnosis, and minimally invasive treatments. Scientific solutions, optimal solution for the life science and industry uh, requirements. Imaging products capturing the best moments in any environment. This is the vision of Olympus Corporation. What is the mission of Olympus Imaging Product Group? There are two important missions. One is for external contribution. The other one is internal contribution. Two photo industries. As you know, we have been long time in the, uh, the uh, challenging situation. But Olympus, two photo industry, providing products and services 
with regard to the uniqueness from Olympus. Uniqueness is a key word from us. Second contribution, this is the uh, internal contribution. We are obtaining the fast moving digital technologies, mass production technologies, and transmission such as Wi Fi technologies. So we are able to provide those the, uh, information or technology to other product segments within Olympus organization. So what is the Olympus camera's core value or uniqueness? Look at this picture. This is 35 millimeter full size professional camera and 600 millimeter long telephoto angle lens. Normally, professional person or high amateur people, they bring three cameras and seven lenses together to uh, not to miss the important moments. Maybe this person needs tripod. That is the situation with the uh, 35 millimeter full size system uh, photographer. While Olympus OMD system, professional camera with 600 millimeter telephoto angle equivalent lens. So three cameras, seven lenses together, he can put everything into his backpack. So our benefits or uniqueness is just we have probably one third lighter, one third smaller. Based on this concept, our R&D team is developing technologies to materialize this concept, such as autofocus, imaging, image stabilization technology, durability technology, and also the uh, lens technology. So what is the values of Olympus flagship model? Last. Uh, the the uh, working the in terms of mobility and reliability, we are we have been consistent in terms of design and concept. Of course, image quality offer the best Olympus image engine to the professional people. Third, but not least. This one is probably the most important uh, innovation tonight. Speed, speed, offer the fastest possible performance to professional people. So tonight, we are going to make an announcement of the, uh, how fast our speed is. What's the meaning of the offer, the fastest possible performance to professional people? This is development period, and this is the, the sequential autofocus uh, frame per second. Digital SLR showing this, this development, just more than 10 frames per second. Olympus OMD system, starting with EM5, which is rather having low numbers, but going upward to exceed the line of digital cellular, thanks to the digital technology. There are two key messages out of this slide. One is absolute number of the uh, frame per second Olympus achieved but moreover, this rapid growth, rapid development, also thanks to the digital technology. There are two key messages out of this slide. Sensor size is the other uh, point. OMD size, micro four size, APC format, and full size. If we have diagram one axis is system mobility, the other one is autofocus. So far, 
our system is good at mobility, but not good at speed. By having this flagship product and technology, we are good at both high speed and high mobility, while full-frame system is good at high resolution or high sensitivity. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making an announcement of tonight. The new flagship OMD will exceed the APS-C camera in overall value. By having Olympus' entire team efforts, we are making announcement of Olympus' new flagship camera, which will be coming later this year. Thank you very much. I pass on to the uh, product presentation. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening and welcome on my side as well. Um, Michael set the bar high, and I think a lot of you are here with a lot of expectations. So my job is tonight to give you the first insights into E1 Mark II, the new flagship, and I'm pretty sure we are going to meet your expectations. But Let's have a look at the real deal. This is the EM1 Mark II. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, it has been in the making for the past four years. EM1 Mark II is a combination of innovation and improvements in all aspects. Literally everything has gone through a transformation in the EM1 Mark II making of. And the best way to represent it to you tonight is by going through the values that OMD represents. So we're going to take a look at the speed, into the mobility and reliability, as well as image quality, and take a look at what EM1 Mark II represents in all of these areas. And we're going to start with the speed. E1 Mark II has a complete new autofocus system, and it represents speed. In fact, if you want to take away one topic tonight, it's going to be the speed that this uh, camera offers. The autofocus system is not only one or two tweaks or improvements. It has been improvements in different areas, in areas of performance, precision, and functionality. And in all of these areas, there have been massive improvements and innovations that I'd like to show to you. Starting with the performance. If you consider a sequential shooting uh, situation where the object is coming towards you all the time or is getting away from you and the camera has to maintain the focus at all times, this is probably a challenge for both a photographer and the camera maker. And this is where could be a benchmark in speed for every camera. EM1 Mark II offers up to 18 frames per second in full resolution, raw format, in continuous autofocus mode. It's an amazing achievement, and it's here to make a statement. If you do not need the continuous autofocus and you just want to follow a panning subject which is very high speed, then you can unleash the power of your one and get up to 60 frames per second, all in full resolution and in raw format, should you choose to. And this is a new benchmark. 
Thank you. So performance is one area that you know, one mark two makes a statement as mentioned, but it's not all. In terms of precision of the AF, take a look at this image. This is a great image taken by Warren Fleming, our visionary in South Africa. And if you take a closer look, you will notice that the subject in the middle is not in the focus. It's rather out of the middle field. This would have been a challenge for many cameras. So one topic that was addressed properly in the EU1 Mark II was the AF coverage. And the AF coverage in the EU1 Mark II, it has been increased by 81% compared to the EU1. It covers now pretty much the whole imaging field, allowing for such shots to be taken much easier. On top of that, the more significant improvement here is that all of the focus points in EM1 Mark II are cross-type focus points. We believe that this is an amazing achievement. It makes a huge contribution to an autofocus system being fast and precise. And to give you the exact numbers, in one Mark II has 120 point focus points, all of which are cross-type and on-chip phase detection and contrast autofocus. This is the dual fast AF, and the camera uses all of these elements at all times in every shooting mode. Another area of improvement has been the functionality of the AF. EM1 Mark II comes with a new AF algorithm. It does now a much better job in following and tracking the subject and detecting the subject from the background, even when the subject and background are very close to each other in texture and color. It also comes with cluster display so that the photographers can follow and to review what the camera does in the subject tracking. So there has been also improvements in this field. A great feature in the EU1 Mark II made possible by the combination of all of these achievements before is what we call Pro Capture. Pro Capture's job is to support the professional photographers as well as any normal photographer to capture that precise moment. You can imagine that in a lot of cases you just meet the moment by that much and you wish you could have get back that moment. That's why ProCapture is here. If you activate ProCapture, it will start taking full resolution images as soon as you have pressed the shutter button. And it will continue doing so until you completely and fully press the shutter button. Once you do that, you will have access to the photo you just took as well as up to 14 frames beforehand all of which are in full resolution and raw format should you choose to. So, I think we covered performance, precision, and functionality, but it all requires a reliable electronic viewfinder so that the photographer can see what is happening in front of him or her. You know, One Mark II has improvements in this area as well. And in fact, the EVF was so good that some of the professional photographers who got their hands on the early units thought it was an optical viewfinder. The reason for that confusion in this case is because the EVF runs at 120 frames per second and it has an amazing reaction time of only 6 milliseconds. So the result is a very crisp and a smooth feedback of the subject which is in front of you. Let's talk about mobility. Michael showed you earlier today that mobility has always been a value of OMD cameras. And the uh, one Mark II, despite the fact that has gone through a complete transformation, has managed to maintain the same beloved form factor that E1 offered. It has the same DNA, and because of that design, can offer the same level of mobility 
that photographers know our cameras for. You know, many professional photographers who choose our systems because of the mobility advantage of that. And we are well aware of that. And there has been no compromises in this regard. Here again, you can have handheld telephoto images. And not everybody can say that. In terms of reliability, EM1 Mark II holds the same standards as the top-line OMD cameras. It is dust-proof, splash-proof, and freeze-proof. We would like the photographers to take our OMD cameras to the extreme environments, and they do that. And they take it to the harshest of environments, take great images, come back, and do not have to worry about their cameras. This reliability is something that we are very proud of and we have maintained. But it's not only on the outside. The biggest reliability improvements in the EM1 Mark II has been on the inside. And here we have taken a long feedback of the users and of the professional photographers to make improvements internally. EM1 Mark II comes with a complete new battery compartment. It has more capacity and it will significantly charge faster. And that will have an added bonus for the photographers on the move. There has been improvements in the ergonomics of the EM1 Mark II. The grip is now more secure. It has been redeveloped, and it offers a better combination with the larger lenses. Finally, in this area, you will be delighted to know that EM1 Mark II supports two SD cards and a UHS Type II super fast SD connection. Let's move on to image quality. We believe that image quality is not a feature. It is an expectation. And anybody who will hold our cameras expects great image quality delivered. For years, photographers have taken our cameras and taken great images and have been happy with it. But EM1 Mark II will take image quality to a different level. Starting with a new, if I get it, sensor. EM1 Mark II has a 20 megapixel live mode sensor. It has been optimized for low power consumption. It offers a much higher speed of data readout, and it does a better job in noise performance and dynamic range. We introduced the new imaging engine, the TruePic 8 with the EM1 Mark II. It is consisted of two quad core of this footage and the five axis image stabilization is just a pleasure to look at. It's really interesting. You know that there's one way to increase and to improve the image quality by increasing
the pixel count, and there's another way which is harder, and that is to improve the dynamic grass. We talked about it in 2013 with the introduction of EM1 and the 1240 millimeter. And the 1240 millimeter, if you know, is one of the most beloved lenses out there in any system. It was an immediate success, and it turned from a great lens to a must-have for any serious photographer. The concept of the pro lenses, great performance, great construction, as well as a constant aperture across the focal length was just a no-brainer. And in the past few years, we have been working on that continuously to increase the offer. ...offering of the pro lenses. This year, we introduced the 300 mil. And with that, we completed the focal length that a professional photographer requires. And This one is also weatherproof. Okay. So EM1 Mark II comes with a complete lineup of accessories for professionals with all demands in different fields of photography. I will not go through all of them, but I'd like to highlight a few. The HLD9 grip comes with a dedicated keypad, and it has been developed in a way that you can access it vertically and horizontally the same. So it's great ergonomical improvements. Once you get to know the camera and you add the grip, you can shoot again and like there's no changes. We introduce now the FL900. It's a very powerful weatherproof flash that supports high speed sequential shooting up to 10 frames per second. So, great products, amazing lenses, accessories, and like I said, we encourage the users to take our products and to test them into the harshest environments, and they do. They put our products into very heavy use in every demanding situation. And we understand that great product is not everything. We understand that a great product requires great service. That is why, with the introduction of EM1 Mark II, we will introduce the concept of Olympus Pro Service. It has been crafted and addresses the problems that most professional users have. We know that the users do not want to be without a camera for long. So, with this offering, we will provide a next-day 
delivery replacement unit to the professionals who need a repair. We will provide for the first time in the industry a video hotline where you can go through the problems and through your camera with an expert on the other side over the video. And you can understand the problems better and he can support you much better even before you ship your camera out. The pro service will come in three levels. And across all of these levels, we provide support, maintenance, and repair. It will be available in selected European countries with the E1 Mark II. So ladies and gentlemen, I kept it very effective and sweet, and I hope you liked it so far. I would like to go back to the chart that Michael showed you in the beginning. We promised the fastest possible performance with the next flagship. And tonight with the EU1 Mark II, I think we did just more than that. This is a camera we are very proud of. This is a camera that represents the best we have to offer. And it's a product that we call revolutionary in every way. Please join me in watching a short video that summarizes the essence of the EU1 Mark II. Thank you very much. That, by the way, was Mr. Ali Kiani. Ladies and gentlemen, he sure knows what he's talking about, the product manager of the M1 Mark II. So thank you once again for the reveal, Ali. Thank you also for being here and the introduction, Mr. Michael Handa. Thank you for coming out here tonight. And thank you all for your attention. We hope you enjoyed the evening so far, but it's not over yet. Um, you are the first uh, who have the possibility to get a hands-on experience now with the new flagship. Now, uh, we have our experts uh, standing right over the, oh, look at that, the light goes on. That is amazing. Uh, they're not only glowing from the inside, but also from the outside, as you can see, with the nice blue uh, little indicator lights. Uh, so if you have any questions or want to get your hands on the camera, please ask them. They're just not allowed to give out the camera. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they'll get in trouble. So uh, if you have any questions, go to them. If there are any questions regarding strategy and so forth, um, please contact uh, your PR partner. So we now invite you to dinner, to drinks, to some food, a nice talk with your colleagues. We wish you a great evening here. We wish you some exciting discoveries at the Fotokina and a great time in Cologne. Thank you all for coming out and have a great night. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>